Hello out there and welcome to English Teacher Plays. We're here with Snail Trek Chapter 2, A Snail of Two Worlds. And just in case you didn't see my other video, we're going to look at the previously in Snail Trek so that you can catch up with the story so far. So, in search of a new home for your people, your crew of snails traveled across the galaxy to a new planet where lettuce grew plentifully, or so they thought. Waking up from stasis, you found your captain dead, having been sautéed in butter and garlic. Your landing gear damaged and your ship without sufficient fuel to land on the planet. Worried that you won't be able to send the all-green migration signal home, you repaired the landing gear and, using the captain's buttery murder broth as fuel for your spacecraft's biodiesel engines, you finally managed to descend to the lettuce planet, only to discover it was in fact a barren, forbidding world. Have you been transported somewhere else? Were all your sensor readings and telescopes incorrect? Where are you? Find out in chapter two. Which what that's what we're gonna do. Yes. This is the barren world that was supposed to be full of lettuce. I wanted lettuce to eat. Music's really depressing, actually. Our intrepid molluskins descend to what they thought was the lettuce planet. Instead, they see a stark, forbidding desert landscape. What dangers lurk? No! Solid ground detected. Yeah. Oh, we landed. Oh no, we're tilting! That's bad. Art of oh, we're floating! <laughs> nice. Excellent. Check computer fault injuries. Uh, let's... Oh, no, that's not what I want to do. Let's go look around. This is the spacecraft, yep. Um, an entrance to the maintenance shaft that you found in chapter one. You can see outside on the view screen, it does not look pretty. There's no lettuce in sight. Are you all going to starve to death? We should use the computer to find out what to do next. We're going to die if we don't find food and water! Okay. Nope, nope. All right. Let's snail it up. <coughs> right, faults. That's what we want, we want faults. Artificial gravity malfunction. Maintenance may be required. Artificial gravity junction box is located in small room beyond a breakable panel at the end of the maintenance shaft. Okay. That seems pretty specific. And there's new th science things. Uh, planet K291B. Standard oxygen levels. Plant life lettuce and other greenery now uncertain. <laughs> Sensor readings indicate 13% possibility. Alrighty. Alrighty. So, oop, nope. Let's... Let's snail away. Hmm, if there is lettuce here, I bet we can find it with my Ladar. It should show any nearby lettuce. Right, I forgot you had that device, Shelly. What does it stand for again? Lettuce detection and ranging. <laughs> yep, okay. <laughs> it should be able to pinpoint lettuce very accurately. Maybe we can use it to find some. Maybe, I mean, that is what you designed it for. It's literally the name of the thing. Um, all right, so... Let's, uh, let's talk to the snail. Talk. Where are we? Uh, that was boring. You're boring. <laughs> talk. Where? No. Stop it. Talk to snail. Boring. Boring. Fine. Oh. Okay. Going that way was a bad idea. Let's go the other way. All right, that doesn't sound that doesn't sound very good. But let's go. Let's go to the. Uh, so I had to check the artificial gravity generator. It looks like that's in the maintenance shaft, that hole at the base of the wall on the upper left. Yeah, I did that. Okay. Uh, look around. Maintenance shaft, panel at the end. Okay, open panel. It breaks away and reveals a room. Nice. All right. Some kind of maintenance shaft. You've opened some more machinery. Uh, okay, fix gravity. Can't do that with the, okay. Repair. I pushed the battery back in place. You don't notice anything different. That makes sense since you're on a planet that already has gravity. Good job, team. We totally fixed that. I mean, I fixed it. I'm amazing. Oh, plus, press space to switch characters for use 
or use icon in upper right. Ah, oh, Christian, Zoomer, and Shelly. What does Zoomer do? Look around. What does can he does he see different stuff? He doesn't. Okay, uh I'm carrying nothing. I thought he had a thingy. You can see inventory for the currently active character by pressing tab or typing stuff. Okay, he's carrying nothing. Got it. Alright, let's go. Let's go use. Lettuce. Uh, get lettuce. Try to pick up the lettuce, but it just falls apart. Without water, it's turned useless and rotten. Yeah, I already knew that one. Okay, so what else do I need to do, man? Come on. Alright, faults. It's corrected. Okay, so what do we do now? What are we doing? Status achieved. All right. Uh, verified as being lettuce and the all green signal to the home world. This will be the signal to begin the race's mass migration. Okay, so we need to, I think I need to, uh, no, I'm totally, there we go. Shelly had a thing, right? Shelly's got the LADAR. This is the LADAR that stands for lettuce detection and ranging. It basically tells you the location of any nearby lettuce. This model is the Escarole 2000, which is supposed to have a salad spectrometer that filters out artificial lettuce readings, along with dead lettuce. To use it, type turn on LADAR. Okay. Turn on LADAR. Go. Hmm, the LADAR doesn't seem to be working correctly. It looks like it's spinning backwards. Okay, what is, maybe I should check the battery. Aha! The battery is in backward. <laughs> of course. I mean, yeah. I flipped the battery around. Should be good now. Oh, it totally works. <laughs> Science! Look, the LADAR is picking up lettuce reading somewhere outside the ship. Should we go investigate? I mean, that's literally what we're here for, so... Except for I don't know how to get off the ship. How do we... Leave. Let's 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 oh, let's try leave ship. I don't see that. Exit. I don't understand. Uh um I don't know where the exit is. Uh look around. Oop. Let's go look exit. I don't see that. Look around. How do I get off the ship? Entrance to the maintenance shaft, right? Exit hatch on the floor. Oh, exit hatch. Right. So hungry. I get it. You want some lettuce. Come on, man. Yeah, I got it. Uh, use hatch. Let's roll. Time to go outside. Uh, push button. You don't need to tell me all these hun hints, man. That thing, knew that thing I thought I was going to say buttocks. I was not saying buttocks. Oh, how do I? Why can I not get out? Exit. Exit. Oh, there we go. We're out. Ah, we're on the bottom of the ship. That's weird. I'm not going to be able to hold on much longer. Oh, okay. Crap. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Did I just die? I died! That was quite thrilling. What a well-balanced spacecraft. Too bad you ruined it. You appear to have died. <laughs> do you want to try again from the last... I, I do. I really do. Okay, let's... Uh, okay, enter. Okay, so... We've obviously got to... We've got to do something. Because um, that didn't work. That, that didn't... That... Enter. Uh, oh, we can run. Nice. Um, turn off. Uh, uh, break. Gravity. Oop. There we go. I can't do that with the generator. Uh, turn off generator. There's a power button that you can see, but there is a battery. Remove battery. It's probably not useful in here, but in the gravity generator, though. Nice! Okay, so we have no gravity. 
That's good. Let's now let's try and go outside this time without the gravity on. I don't I don't know if that's gonna work. Probably not. Uh, open hatch. There we go. Exit. I wish I had anti gravity. Right. I died last time. How do I do anti gravity? Right. He's only an artificial gravity generator. It sports a beautiful olive green and black covering and has clearly marked positive and negative ter terminals. Okay. Okay, let's try use battery lidar. There are no controls to use it. You just observe the little green blobs that show up. They... All right, turn off lidar. Remove battery lidar. Uh, uh, put battery lidar. Okay, no, this is. I'm just gonna die if I do this. No, we're dead. I moved around too much, and then we died. Uh, right, right. We've got some solving to do, team. By we, I mean, yeah, I mean me. Okay, let's go enter. Do we still have the, um, do we still have the battery? That's the question. Yeah, we still have the, the battery. Okay. Oop. I feel like, ooh. Um. Zoomer. Oh, Zoomer's faster. Yeah, okay. Um, give lead our Zoomer. Oh. Uh, give zoomer lidar. Okay, I'll hold on to the lidar. Sweet. There we go. Oh, let's just get Shelly to go put that battery back in. That seemed like a good thing. I mean, I can remove it, and sometimes, like, in these games, it's like, if you can do it, then probably you're supposed to. Um, put battery in. Ah, oh, reverse battery. Aha. Nice. I figured out how to do anti-gravity. I figured out what I needed to do. She can't get out here. She can't get out of here though. That's pretty funny. Oh, nope. That's right. I just need to switch to zoomer. Uh, uh, oh my God, we're sticking to the ceiling. Okay. Oh, I can't get down. We can't. Uh, okay. Um. <laughs> can I. Uh, let's try reverse battery again. Okay, so we're gonna fall down this time. So I need to position someone outside and then, and then swap them. Okay, so let's go back to Zoomer. I'm solving this, man. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I like how it, like, taught me the thing and then is, like, making me do the thing. So that's cool. Let's go exit, zoomer, and then... Let's go reverse battery. There we go. And then... Oh, we're all floating. Nice. And now we should be able to go to Zoomer and be outside and be fine. Ah, oh, yes. Oh my god, this is so cool. I'm sticking to the ship. Gravity is upside down. Uh, I'm amazing. All right, uh, look around. You're dangling upside down on the bottom of the ship. It's hard to see too much else, but you are in a rather precarious position. You can see a bit of shrapnel and metal on the right side of the ship where it looks damaged. Okay. I'm in a rather precarious... Uh, I could get them to turn it back off. Um, look, box. Some sort of survival kit must have fallen loose from somewhere when that sharper. Okay, sweet. So we need to switch back to Shelly and we'll go reverse battery. Nice. All right. And then she goes back down to the ground. Well done, team. And then we go back to Zoomer, who's now on the ground. Yep. 
Now I should find a way to get the rest of the crew out. Surely there's got to be an easier way than reversing gravity. Alright, get box. Uh, open box, I guess. That's right. Four tubes of lettuce concentrate. Food! We found food. Well, sort of. Nice. Um, turn on radar. Christian has it. How does Christian have it? Ugh. What a loser. Alright, look around. We're in a new place. While this place is certainly scenic, it is very stark and desolate. You're growing doubtful that any positive lettuce readings are accurate, though you should probably check them out anyway. There doesn't seem to be any obvious way off this bluff, but you do see some sort of tower off in the distance. Clearly this place isn't uninhabited. It might be a good idea to take some lettuce readings with a lidar. Well, great, thanks. I thought that he had the lidar, but whatever. Alright, well, let's just switch to uh, Christian. And let's go to the hatch. Enter. And then we'll reverse the battery. Uh, exit. And then we'll go. Shelly, reverse battery. Nice. There we go. Now Shelly's gonna float up the ceiling, and I've got Christian out. Good job, team. Yes. All right, and then we go back in. We are puzzle solving. Reverse battery. Yep, nailed it. Thirteen of forty. So we're only we're not even halfway there yet. I thought these were supposed to be twenty-minute adventures. Lies. But let's go take some lettuce readings anyway. Hey man, you're looking pretty sad. The botanist. Okay. Um, look, Lidar. Right? We've already turned it on. It's currently on. Lettuce should show up as green specks. Turn it off. Okay. Uh, look around. Right? Okay, so there's a big lettuce reading off to the right somewhere. Um... Ha! Uh, lettuce. I'm just gonna type lettuce. Sorry, I'm not- I'm too stupid to understand that. Nice. Okay. Right. Uh, look hole. Looks like a shard of rock has opened a gaming hole in the side of the ship. The way is blocked at the moment. Peeking inside, you can see the back of some machinery with a pipe going into it. You can just make out a small sign with the words Lettuce Omatic Incorporated. Oh, sweet! Okay, let's go get Shelly, because she can then go and get out through the Lettuce Omatic. Love it. Ideally, she can get out. Without breaking everything. Um, enter. Uh, look. Lettuce. Okay, look. Machine. It's basically an automated nourishment machine for the lettuce. Yep. All the lettuce have died. You can feel a breeze entering the ship from somewhere behind the machine. Uh. Break machine. You can't do that with the machine. Uh, open machine. It's already open. Uh. Enter machine. It's already open. Um. Go inside machine. Um, unblock machine. I don't know, man. I really don't know. Let's go look in the maintenance closet. Uh, open closet. There we go. What's in that? You cleaned it out in chapter one and got a mop and a wrench. Who's got that? No? Okay. Ah! Oh. He's got it. Oh, he's got the secret code as well. Okay. Sweet. Christian. Uh. Uh. Clear. Block or something. Um. Break. Nope. Break. Pipes. 
Uh, use wrench pipes. You want to use a pipe? Use uh, break pipes with wrench. Yeah. Uh, there's gotta be another. Uh, this is so annoying. Um. No, I was looking for a hint. I was looking for a hint game. That's what I was looking for. But there isn't one. Um, look. Pipes. Tobacco machine. Okay. So... Right. So there's a pipe somewhere in the ship. That looks like a pipe there. Sort of. Look. Pipe. Oh, it's gonna go back up the thing. Ah, no, that's fine. Alright, I sort of need him to be back in the ship, so... I guess we're gonna go get Shelly to reverse the things again. Enter. Cause I need everybody out! Alright, reverse battery. Yep, cool. Then we've got this thing to happen, and then... Man... I must suck at this because I'm definitely taking longer than 20 minutes. Oh, I can't get back on there. Oh, okay. I don't know if that means that I failed then. That's weird. Okay. Um. Uh. Open lettuce o -matic. Uh, break. Machine. Break machine with wrench. Uh, unscrew pipe. Ah, oh, there we go. Unscrewed it. You can see a bit of the ship's light shining through the edge of the lettuce. In a, okay. Move machine. Here from this side. Okay, so she's got to go do it. All right. Come on, Shelly. Let's go do it. Yeah. Reverse battery. There we go. Good job, Shelly. You're doing great in here, just flipping the battery up and down. I love your technological skills. They're amazing. Do 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 do. Come on, Shelly. Let's go do this. All right. And then we're gonna, uh, move machine. Yes! Wow, a way out! Nice one. Wow, guys, we made it out! Alright. Now what do we, uh, we better go get, uh, Christian over here as well. Come on, we're all out of the ship. So now what do we do? Uh, talk. Snail. Where are we? Nope. Talk. Zoomer. Nope. Uh, okay. Well, it says that there's some lettuce. Where's the lettuce? I'm like, pretty much I'm sitting around. Look, lettuce. Where is it? Nope. Okay. So what are we doing now? What is the next... What is the next goal? Um, climb down? Size and cliff, you're on a vertical. Let's do see for you. Maybe you can find another way. Okay. Let's go over here and try climb down. Right. Uh, there's a tower. Call tower. Look, tower. Looks like a transmission tower rises imposingly from flat ground far below. There appears to be a small building at its base. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Oh, no. Okay. Turn off radar. Oh, it looks like an Eiffel Tower. Look for way down. Um, how do we get down? Nope. All right. I don't know how we get down, man. Let's go back in the ship. 
Go back up into the ship. All right. Um, use communication. No, I don't want to send to all green. Um, mission parameters, right? <sighs> okay, we've already done that. Two, navigation. No, no, we don't want to do that. Okay, so none of that's right. I don't know what we're doing though. I don't, I really don't know what the next thing to do is. I feel like I should know though. Okay. How do we get down? Get down. Climb. Climb ship. There might be a way in where the rock is damaged part of the hole though, right? So there's a um look hole. No, we've already looked at that hole. Got it. Yeah, we've already got that. Um Look, cliff. Need to find some water and real lettuce. What have we got? Right? I think Zoomer has some real lettuce, right? Who has the lettuce? Who has the lettuce? Come on, give me the lettuce. Eat lettuce. No, 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 someone had lettuce. Come on now. Or did we not pick it up? That might have been what happened. Get lettuce. Might be worth it to read the tube. Oh, okay. Read tube. This is a tube of Paul Snailman's U238 Boosted Lettuce Concentrate. In tiny letters on the side of the tube is the text contains artificial lettuce. In even tinier letters is a warning. Side effects may cause consumer to emit light temporarily. Okay, um, well let's do that I guess. Let's um, eat lettuce. Into your mouth, it tastes somewhat like wilted greens, artificial sweetener, and baking soda. Hey, I'm emitting light. This isn't natural lettuce though, there must be real lettuce somewhere around here if we believe the lead are. Oh, I'm glowing, nice. Wow, this is really cool, I'm glowing. <laughs> I hope this food is safe. In quote marks. Love it. Um, let's get Zoomer to eat some as well. Let's get everybody to eat some. And see what happens. Um, there we go. Eat lettuce. Eat lettuce. Oh, what? He didn't start glowing. Why did he not start glowing? Oh, lame. Let's get another one and eat it. Uh, get two. Oh, they're already, they're all empty, I see. Oh, there's an eye down here. I saw eyes in that hole. Look, eyes. I have a strange sense of foreboding. Okay. I still haven't figured out how to get down. Uh, contact tower. Uh, call tower. Maybe that's something you could do, but this day game can't. Okay. Hey, Zoomer, how come you aren't glowing? Didn't you eat the lettuce concentrate too? Um, I don't know. I guess the artificial lettuce doesn't affect me like that. Hmm, strange. That is weird. All right, let's get Shelly to eat some. See what happens there. Get two. Eat lettuce. Hey, she's glowing. Nice. There we go. Uh, talk. What kind of place is this? No, that's boring. Talk. Right. Okay. I don't know, man. I don't know what we're doing. Glow in the dark side effects. Okay. Right? So now we're glowing in the dark. I mean, I don't know why, but that's that's happening, so... Get two. Right. Empty lettuce concentrate. Um, Zoomer, what have you got? Empty lettuce concentrate, right? 
Christian, what have you got? You got empty lettuce concentrate. You got all the stuff. You got a tentacle, secret code, a lidar. Um, turn on lidar. That's the only thing I can think of to do here. Right. Climb down. Nope. So there's definitely like lettuce around here. Uh, look for lettuce. Right. Alright, well we're at 30 minutes. This is supposed to be a 20 minute snail adventure and I'm not, I'm not uh, making that much progress. So I'm gonna leave it there and then I'll pick it up later on and you guys, you know, I'll make sure you guys get to see the whole thing. But this is Snail Trek Volume 2. Pick up the first one and the second one. They're only a dollar on Steam and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Class dismissed.